Welcome back. It is always great to see you. Michelle, uh, congratulations, by the way. Yesterday, you just got nominated for a Critics' Choice I Award. Know. That's a big deal. No, it's, it's such an illustrious group of actresses. It's such an honor. Well, you crushed that uh, as Betty Ford Thank and uh, you. Yeah, uh, the, the First Lady. Uh, yeah, she was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. I was reading up a little bit about you, and I, I saw something I thought was interesting that when you get a role or a job, <laughs> that you, you either try to get out of it or try to get fired yeah. from it. Yeah. It, I mean, sometimes true? the only way to get out is to get fired. But, yeah. um, but that's true. Yeah. It's just, only, it's just per, I, my hands are sweating as we were discussing this. I get performance anxiety. You and, do. Yeah, and I do. And I get, you know, you know, people are always so surprised that an actor would have performance anxiety. But, right. but you do. Yeah. And but I you... guess they, they say, they do say that when that stops, you should really hang it up. Oh. That it's sort of part of the juice that kind oh. of gets us going. Yeah. Yeah. Every night I feel like, yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just keep coming out. Yeah, you keep I, coming out. I keep coming out. But every movie, Scarface, everything. Batman yes. Returns? Uh, no, no, I didn't because I was obsessed with Catwoman since I was yes. a little girl. <laughs> yeah. and, and actually, someone was cast before me, Annette Bening, who's wonderful. Wow. And then she got pregnant. Awesome. Yeah. And then I got the part. Yeah. I got the part. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you nailed it. Yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, congrats on the, the Ant Man movies as well. We, 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 uh, you, do you like doing superhero movies? I think you're pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of, I mean, they're, they're, look, they're a mixed bag, you know, like the outfits are always super uncomfortable. Um, and you forget, it's like childbirth a little bit. Um, but, um, but it's, you know, Ant-Man is such a fun, um, fun one to work on. It's such an, a great group of people great and cast. funny and smart. And, um, and it was really fun, this last one, because the first one, I, I wasn't really in it that much. I sort of showed up for a couple of weeks and did my bit and then, and then left. And I didn't really yeah. honestly get, get to know them. But this time I was there for the long run. Yeah. And um, Paul Rudd said that everyone freaked out at the Avengers Endgame, the final scene when you walked on set. And they were all sitting there and they're like, oh my God, Michelle, I don't think that's yes, true. that is definitely true. He told me, he said that. Well, I, no, I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. I, was, I was freaking out. They were playing, you were trying to get out yeah, of it. I, I was you were trying, trying to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get fired from Avengers Endgame. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, are, uh, do you ever get excited about meeting anyone? I um, I do actually. I was really excited to work with Jonathan Majors. Um, he's in in Ant Man, and yeah. we have a lot of our scenes are together. And uh, you know, it's an interesting. This one is. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. What yeah, to I know say you're really that. not allowed to say. They, much. they give you a whole list of what you can't say, but not anything what you can say. So <laughs> next time I'm you gonna... come on, I want you to bring that yeah. list because I want to read. I want to read what you. And can't I'll just say. read it. Yeah, you go. Here's exactly what yeah. I can't say about the movie. But yeah. <laughs> Also, your giant movie career, you also have this uh, amazing fragrance line, Henry Rose. Uh, I do. Congratulations oh, on this. Oh, you happen to have it back oh, Yes, I do. <laughs> and I, yeah. I, I, I want to talk about this, because I do like the packaging as well. The packaging is very cool. Can you see, you can see Henry Rose through the bottle. Can you yeah. see that? And how did, uh, how did this come about, and well, when did this start taking off? it started, off? Uh, Really, the the the, um, the genesis of it was really twenty around twenty five years ago when I became a new mom, and um, I started looking at the world through my children's eyes, like a lot of people do, and I started paying closer attention to what I was exposing them to and looking at the ingredients and and the things we were putting on our bodies and um, and you know what I discovered is that fragrance was completely non-transparent it was really the last black box of transparency and so I stopped wearing fragrance for 10 years and I love obviously you know I love fragrance and um, so was it difficult uh, to get off the ground were you like I'm Michelle Pfeiffer so let's just do this <laughs> No, no, it was, I, um, so about 15 years ago, I, I um, and after trying all kinds of concoctions on the market, I, I really missed that sort of fine fragrance, and 
I decided, okay, well, I'm going to see if I can, if I can do this. Um, there must be other people looking for this product, and nobody really understood it. And I think I was just a little too ahead of the curve, and so I, I, uh, it's a good thing I'm good with rejection, um, <laughs> because you know, I'd, I'd go out there and 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 make a go of it and get rejected, and I you know, go with my tail between my legs and I'd shelve it for a while and then I'd bring it back and... You kept bringing it back. And try again. That's what it's And then I'd shelve it for two years and then finally, in uh, about five years ago, I, I thought, okay, it's New Year's Day, I remember. I said, okay, what do you want to do this year? I said, I'm going to give that fragrance thing one more try. Yes! And... Um, <laughs> So uh, anyway, in 2019, um, so I finally found, um, I found um, IFF as was a great partner. I went, I went directly to the, I bypassed the cosmetic industry. I went directly to the perfume house and uh, started working with perfumers. And in 2019, we launched with five um, transformative, 100% transparent yeah. um, fragrances that, um, really um, you know, disrupted the fragrance market and we really created a new, a new category. Um, and so we are the very first um, genderless line of, of luxury fine fragrances to have earned the safety stamp of approval. Um, That's amazing that you did that. Yeah, we launched um, uh, just direct to consumer and um, this year we've moved into retail and uh, people can go on the website and use the location finder to find a, a store near you. Michelle, that's massive. That's so cool. I know, it's very cool. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> do you find that you, now that you're doing this now, do you, do you, do you have a heightened sense of smell? Can well, you, you... little fun fact. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was at the ENT, you know. Yeah getting probed, which is a really nice experience. Your nose and throat, yeah. Yeah, and, um, and he went, he was looking up, you know, looking up my nostril, <laughs> what he said. What they do? He goes, oh, interesting. <laughs> and I said, what? What's interesting? He goes, oh, well, you have uh, an organ in your nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> that people don't usually have. <laughs> it's like an organ. Yeah, right? I, yeah, I don't know, right? yeah. So... I, I don't know what I would do. I he would... said it's called the, the vomer nasal organ, and you find it in mammals and in animals, and they really use it um, to um, detect pheromones and mate. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cool. And I have this. You have it. So I sort of have an animalistic kind of sense of smell. <laughs> yeah. I this guess. is perfect then. See? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Like, well, I thought maybe we put it to the test and play a fun game uh -huh. when we come back. Are you down with that? Yeah, I'm down with that. But you practiced that game a lot, and I haven't. I don't practice it. Anything. Yeah. I, no, I do. Are you looking for... Yeah, but for, you live here. Are you looking for a... I do live here. Do you, uh... <laughs> I sleep I'm under this desk. I'm looking for a scent. I are you looking for a scent for you? Yeah, I want to try it on you. This one. Now, how do I put it... Can I ask how I... How do I... You, you want to do the dolphin thing? Yeah. All right. I, I kind of dive into it. You, you spray it, and I'll dolphin my way through okay, it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Wow! Ooh, that's fun. Yeah! Oh, I'm feeling it. Now I got it now, too. I love it. Michelle Pfeiffer and I are playing a new game after the break. Stick around.